Hey everyone, this is Pharaoh Silver, the Pharaoh of Beer Money Finance, and this is the September 2024 Beer Money Portfolio Month in Review. And after a really good August, I didn't think we could repeat it in September, but I was wrong. We managed to almost match August's earnings almost entirely in part to one app. And as you might be noticing here, there have been a few significant changes to the portfolio as well going forward. So I'm going to go over those in the overall summary. So we will start there. Overall, for the month of September, we've earned $255.24 and spent $14.99 for an overall net earning of $243.25. The two most significant changes coming out of this is the Quicksilver Rewards Secure Card has now completed its seventh month and via Capital One's rules, this allows me to take out the security deposit, allowing me to transfer the $200 I've had secured there since March on over to my Fidelity account, and I'll show you how that makes a difference very soon. The second thing is I added Coin around mid to late this month, and while my feelings on the Coin app have soured over the months, mainly due to their many nerfs, Coin is still one of those apps that allow you to earn crypto in the form of XYO, and my plan is to take that XYO and eventually convert it into Ethereum so that I can keep building up my crypto portfolio there. I do have Bitcoin already with Ember Fund, but I don't have an Ethereum outlet, so I'm hoping that Coin will provide that at least for right now. Third, I made a huge error in the way I handled my uh, crypto a little earlier to a point that the costs tended to pile up and I had to transfer my free cash USD coins. I accidentally transferred them to Ethereum instead of trying to sell them. So I decided to go ahead and get rid of any Ethereum that I had. However, Coinbase Learn did have a $5 uh, crypto waiting for me. So I used that and I built it back up a little bit. So if you see Ethereum being a lot lower, than normal in the investments today, that's part of the reason why. Okay, so the top earner is free cash. And yeah, I mean, this one was definitely coming $128.57 this month. Despite the lower activity with free cash, uh, the $70 level 20 reward for finishing Anagram Yahtzee finally came in after 14 days. Now, if you want to know how to pass Anagram Yahtzee, I have a video that shows you all the word games, all the different types of word games, the best way to win it with a word unscrambler. It's the easiest way to do it. And all you need is just a little bit of time. That's all you really need. Um, it's kind of what I'm doing now to get through two other games, Word Farm Adventure and Word Express. And you're probably wondering why I'm doing two games at once. Well, that is because I thought, uh, I was working on Word Farm Adventure already, but I thought, hey, I could double it up with misplay uh, word word madness, I'm sorry, not word express, and make a little extra from misplay. Turns out, nope, that was my mistake. Misplay actually wants you to install using their system, which makes it impossible to get the score via free cash. And since I didn't want to miss out on $78, maybe 93 if I can figure out how to get in enough days, I just let misplay go by the wayside with word games at least. In second place is Bridge Money at $34.45. No games and not even rent rewards boost this time. It's just pure video watching, bonuses, and transactions. Now that I can cash out again, it has definitely helped get back in my good graces over the last few months. I'm still waiting for a Walmart or PayPal gift card though, but the addition of Google Play is a plus. Um, however, since I have an Earn Plus membership with them, I just go ahead and use it to cash out instead and just get real cash. So I've been using that instead. Third place is Swagbucks with $25, and this was just the culmination of the last few months. Finally getting the 2200 Swagbucks I needed to get the $25 gift card. I am taking advantage of a deal, though, with Swagbucks that involves Jimmy Dean's Honey Butter Chicken Biscuits. These things are delicious, and buying two of these will get me 700 swag bucks. I already did one for 250, so I could test it out. It was pretty good. Um, they're seven dollars and fifty cents a piece at Walmart, so having four chicken biscuits for five bucks was a good idea. But my next purchase was eight of these, 
which was $15 minus the seven I'm getting with the uh, swag bucks for $8. So, and it, it's actually even a little bit more because of the way that the uh, swag bucks bonuses work. So yeah, it's actually eight for a little less than $8 after this discount. Not bad. Um, also, I just want to mention this. If you're watching this on the day I have got this video out, which is September 30th, they're doing a big $7,500 Swagbucks Trivia Day with the theme being the peanut. So I'm trying to get a group uh, set up to help each other out for this event. I might or might not stream it. If you just see a stream happen at random around you know 8 o'clock Eastern tonight, you'll see. But again, I am not making any promises on that one, all right? All right, so we now have a tie at fourth place again. I'm going to start with one pulse at $20, continuing the pace of only getting $20 roughly every five weeks. Another thing I noticed was right at around the end of the month, one pulse got a brand new layout and I kind of like it. It looks a lot more sleek. The only problem is I'm not getting notifications like I used to, so I actually have to open the app now. So I forget to open the app and that causes a bad habit of some sort. You know, that it's not a good habit, I think. If, I'm, if I want to make money on one pulse, I'm going to need to start opening up the app a lot more. But the layout looks a lot more like a real survey app and less like a startup. So I wanted to give kudos to those over there for making it. This looks really good. And the other half of the tie, as usual, is Atlas Earth. Literally joined at the hip with one pulse, giving out the same $20 every single month. The simulated account, this is the account that I simulate with my uh, sheets and all that, only managed to gain a little over 4,000 Atlas Bucks this month, well short of the 6,000 needed to enter Passport Level 4 and increase the total badge bonus from 15 to 20%. On September 30th, the simulated account will have a bankroll of $4.63, which is just shy of cashing out the fifth $5 amount for the month. It's very likely October will be a month where Atlas Earth will finally pay out 25 bucks. So to recap, the average per month remains $21.30 per month in the current account. 150 parcels and currently 31 badges. It's likely with equal amounts of Atlas Bucks earned in October, we'll also hit level 4 next month and increase this earning even faster, allowing more $25 earning months beyond October. Or alternatively, what I could do is just cash it all out at the last day of the month, which is something I'm considering. Sixth place is upside with $10.22. Took advantage of a few gas offers, combined it with the Quicksilver Rewards credit card for additional bonuses, which now with this rewards card unsecured and with a higher credit limit, I can take a lot more of an advantage of. And yes, do expect the Quicksilver Rewards to make the leaderboard next month for sure, because I'm going to tally my spending, or at least most of my spending, and try to get a good number for how much I would be earning with Quicksilver Rewards. So yeah, this will be the last time that you won't see it on the leaderboard. Cashwalk is 7th place at $10. I had a short period where I got extremely wiped out and couldn't do much in walking early September coming back from the DC trip. I have recovered since and with my new supplement routine, I'm now able to do a lot more exercising. So again, I managed to pick up $10 in gift cards late this month. And yeah, that's $10 closer to our goal. Only two other sources this month. We got $5 from Coinbase Learn. Uh, we learned a new crypto called Core Chain, and then transferred the Core Chain crypto over to Ethereum to restart the Ethereum portfolio. And $2 from 1Q. Um, there is one other change in transaction. I spent $14.99 in shipping and handling to get an NFC card from Coin. I mean, I already have the card, but... It's basically you have to pay $14.99 shipping and handling in order to get an increase in money from coin. So hopefully it'll get me to start earning crypto faster than coin supply did, especially much needed Ethereum, which I am quite low on. I also wanted to add this one more thing because I know a few of you had commented on this, especially in the Discord server. But yeah, up to this point, I had my entire beer money portfolio, at least the stock portion of the beer money portfolio, the mutual fund part in a brokerage account. So I went ahead and I converted the entire stock portion of the beer money portfolio from my brokerage account over to a Roth IRA. Now, why a Roth IRA? Well, for one, I'm not using it because I'm trying to pay down my house as fast as I can. And second, for most people, if you're not saving, you want to take advantage of a tax advantaged account. 
and a Roth or traditional IRA is one of the best ways to get started. Traditional IRAs are going to allow you to save on taxes now, but if you're not making a huge amount of money, Roth IRAs are the way to go. Yeah, you pay taxes now, but unlike brokerages, you will never pay taxes on your gains when you withdraw them. The annual limit is $7,000, and I contributed $1,400 this year early on in another Roth IRA, so that leaves me with $5,600 this year to contribute, and I'm pretty sure I will not break that. I've only put in about $1,500 so far, leaving me with $4,100 over the next three months, uh, plus the first four months of next year, which... Um, I should probably do a video at the beginning of next year explaining like why Roth IRAs are so awesome, especially if you're making less than the uh, threshold. So yeah, we'll have to get to that. But let's move on to the investing portfolio. And this is the investment portfolio currently. Um, as I mentioned before, Ethereum, I am not down 45% on Ethereum. I just had to withdraw some because of a careless mistake that I made that did involve the Spear Money portfolio. So I went ahead and I wrote it off as a loss. Um, I'm building it back up though. So we're going to be working on that for sure. So over time, I'm gonna start withdrawing $5 at a time to coin, uh, from coin, from XYO to Ethereum. And hopefully that will get me back up to the positive on that one. So, I mean, even with that Ethereum, we were down quite a bit to begin with anyway. So. You know, it's fine to have one negative here. The current leader right now is Bitcoin sitting at about an 11% increase. That's where I'm at currently right now. Um, I thought about like starting to withdraw some more into from Ember Fund, but I think I'm going to wait a little bit before uh, I do that because with Bitcoin, uh, it does go up and down a lot and it's very volatile. So I'll probably wait till it goes down a little bit, maybe drop another 10% and then, you know, go below 60K and then I'll probably put a little bit more. Now, as for the uh, stocks and bonds here, the mutual funds you see at the top and the bottom. Yeah, I'm still, uh, you know, I'm still buying there. So we're currently up about 5% and our total overall portfolio sitting at 4.39% with an allocation of 80.9% in stocks, 16.8% in bonds, 2.3% in crypto, and 0.1% in cash. And that's because now we have gotten rid of the $200 in security. It has been added to the uh, mutual funds that I currently have. Now for my Real Life Atlas Earth account. Starting September the 1st, I started gathering up Atlas Bucks in a march toward the late game, because now I'm officially at the max 3x position of 1500 parcels. According to the Atlas Earth calculator from KC Fan, I will need about 218 parcels to break even, therefore I need to gather up 21,800 Atlas Bucks. As of September 29th, I'm currently sitting at about 8,300 Atlas Bucks right now, not counting the $54 that I have that I'm ready to reinvest, so I'm a little over 10,000 right now. I think next month I'm finally going to break into the late game, or at least I'm going to try, um, especially with the golf event coming in for three weeks in a row starting next week, which I am very much looking forward to. Now as far as the leaderboard is concerned, I have fallen all the way to 306th place. That's about 15 spots or so, but that's because I am gathering up parcels in preparation for the late game. Um, in the state, for those of you that are wondering, uh, in the state I currently sit at 9th place. Uh, I have fallen one spot mainly because Maximus Damages is the new governor of North Carolina. He just stopped by took uh, Charlotte, took a few other places, and I think Durham as well, and just completely went to town. <laughs> and uh, yeah, so um, yeah, I just fell a spot because of that. I will try to uh, build myself up so that way I can slingshot myself inch back up into the first page of the leaderboard. We'll see. But uh, yeah, I'm actually partially hidden now on it. Uh, Kannapolis, however, I am still well ahead right now uh second place is like still about 1200 1300 parcels uh behind me so i pretty sure that i'm good with kannapolis i am going to see if i can target another area and i have something in mind and i'm probably going to do a video about it once i can find a screen recorder for it 
So, uh, as far as goals, um, a lot of you have been telling me, well, okay, one of you have been telling me that my goals were not super ambitious enough. Well, this month, there's going to be no excuse for that, because this is going to be quite ambitious goals I'm going for. My goals are simple. I got two big ones. First, I'm going to try to hit $2,000 on the beer money portfolio. Now, $2,000 does seem like a lot. That means I'm going to need to make about $400 this month. And a lot of it is going to be out of my control because of the stock market. I'm going to try to get close. I don't know if I'm going to achieve this or not. But if I don't get it by October, I will almost certainly get it by November, I think. Now, the second goal, and this is for the real Atlas Earth account, is to get enough Atlas bucks that I can go into the late game on November 1st. We'll see if I can do that. I got almost halfway this month. That's not bad at all. And with the golf minigame coming up, I can see myself easily hitting the second half of the Atlas Bucks that I need by Halloween. Alrighty, everyone, that is pretty much the video. Um, I'm also going to try to do the layout a little bit better for the investment. I know I have, like, cleaned up a little bit here on the table, but, like, you see the allocation here in the back? That's actually for my eyes only. I should probably actually move this all the way up over here. So that way you don't see it. But yeah, so that's pretty much the video, everyone. I'm going to try to do some cleanup and try to do some revamping over the next few months with the Beer Money Portfolio Month in Review, especially in preparation for the year in review coming up in a few months. So December, I will not have a month in review. I'm going to have just a straight up complete year in review. And we're going to go over a lot of the stuff with that. Um, if you want to see two videos, like a month in review and a year in review, I could do that as well, but I think I'm just going to do just the plain year in review for December. Um, yeah, that's pretty much it, everybody. Uh, if you like this video, please give it a like, comment, let me know how your September has been as well, and don't forget to subscribe to Beer Money Engine. All right, everyone, this is Pharaoh Silver signing out. I will see you next time. Bye, everybody.